Hey guys, it's Kerry. I've got a great selection of animals today. Straight tusked elephant is an extinct species of elephant that inhabited Europe and Western Asia during the Middle and Late Pleistocene. It grew to about 4 metres in height and had a crest at the top of the cranium. Like its recent relatives, the straight tusked elephant would have been heavily dependent on fresh water. African elephant The forest elephants are most populous in Central and Western Africa. Elephants change habitats seasonally, inhabiting swampy areas during the dry season, then moving back to lowland rainforest areas in the wet season. Male elephants can weigh up to 6,100 kilos and stand up to 4 metres at the shoulder. Most elephants live in protected sanctuaries where they have sources of water and abundant vegetation for foraging. Both sexes have two thick ivory tusks which are curved and can reach up to three and a half metres in length. At birth, calves do not have tusks but instead have temporary pre-maxillary incisors. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Black Rhino They have a pointed prehensile upper lip. Their largest horn can grow to 128 centimetres, which is more than 4 feet. Indian Rhino Among terrestrial land mammals native to Asia, the Indian rhino is second in size only to the Asian elephant. To defend itself, an Indian rhino will slash and gouge viciously with their long sharp incisors and canine teeth in its lower jaw. Asiatic lion Their main growth at the top of the head is moderate so you can always see their ears. They have a larger tail tuft than the African lion. Each individual lion has a unique whisker spot pattern which helps identify them. Bengal tiger Hunting is stalk and kill. They creep quietly and rely on their camouflage to hide them. They get as close to their prey as possible before leaping on it. Giant Anteater This species is mostly terrestrial in contrast to other living anteaters and sloths which are arboreal or semi-arboreal. It is recognised by its elongated snout, bushy tail, long foreclaws and distinctive pelage. This is a common anteater. Sugar Glider it's a small, omnivorous, arboreal and nocturnal gliding possum. Its name refers to its predilection for sugary foods such as sap and nectar. A carpet, although generally tranquil, they can kick and butt with their head to show aggression. They have a long prehensile tongue up to 45 centimetres or 18 inches. Pelican They use their long beak and a large throat pouch for catching prey and draining water from the scooped up contents before swallowing. This pelican is cleaning something from his large throat pouch. Giraffe calf it is already up to 2 metres in height when it is born. The Aussie cones which have lain flat while it was in the womb become erect within a few days.
zebra foal. A newborn will follow anything that moves, so new mothers prevent other mares from approaching their foals while imprinting their own striping pattern, scent and vocalisation on them. Panda. When a cub is first born, it is pink, blind and toothless. Pandas can easily stand on their hind legs and are commonly observed somersaulting, rolling and dust bathing. Black Bear They are most active during early morning and late evening hours in spring and summer. Females will leave a scent trail when they are ready to mate. Large males chase younger males away but mature, evenly matched males fight for dominance and mating rights. Lynx, they are usually solitary, although a small group of lynx may travel and hunt together. Mating takes place in late winter and once a year, the female gives birth to between one and four kittens. Gestation time of the lynx is about 70 days. Asiatic bear. They are powerful swimmers and their short 5 cm claws make them adept tree climbers. Asian black bears have powerful upper bodies for climbing trees and relatively weak hind legs which are shorter than those in brown bears and American black bears. They are slightly smaller than American black bears. Tapir. Females have a single pair of mammary glands and males have long prehensile penises relative to their body size which can be used to grip helping the passage of sperm during mating. Copulation lasts between 10 and 20 minutes either on land or in the water. Tapirs are vital components in their ecosystems. They are masters at dispersing seeds and leaving them well fertilised, providing themselves and other wildlife with an ongoing supply of food and shelter. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments and will always reply. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.